For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M A S S A J A D Y.com. Go to uh, Mammoth uh, Lake, California. Hello? Hello, Ma. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. I would so appreciate if you would scan me, please. Who's this? Can I ask if you don't mind? Uh, my name is Christelle. Okay. You just seem like you tend to float away, uh, if that makes sense to you. You're not really grounded here. Yeah. Um, and it, you definitely don't it, feel your body. And what were you going to say? I was going to say I've just had a lot of trauma in my life and I've been struggling mm -hmm. a lot with um, complex PTSD. Yeah. So um, let's talk about that. Uh, usually when I see PTSD, and again, not all levels of PTSD, but say in your case, and pretty much say about 50% of the cases, um, or maybe 80 or percent of the cases, uh, it's usually about time distortion. That's where you get PTSD. So if you're out of time, uh, something always will, say, feel like it's abused you or will keep abusing you. Um, and, and since you're in your head uh, pretty much all the time, does that make sense? You pretty much left your body just, um, just out there. Does that make sense to you so far or no? Uh, you're basically okay. numb from the neck down. Does that make sense to you? I, I mean, I feel like the only reason I'm still alive is because of my movement practices, but I feel like there's a lot uh, that there is a lot of struggle to, to stay, to stay in my body, mm -hmm. to... Right. Stay here. Exactly. To That's where feel yeah. well, you know, to feel like I belong here. Right, exactly. So it's so exactly parallels what I say. Uh, the reason why it's so hard for you to stay here or feel like you should stay here or be here is because, well, you, the only part that's left is from, you know, your neck on up is here. Everything else is like in the space of the dead, let's just let's just call it not not in this reality, somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So when you do movement practices, when you damage yourself, when you get into accidents or surgeries or whatever else, uh, it it awakens you to this point in time, right? And it helps you recover, but then you slip away. So. Uh, as we've been talking, just really pulling you into this reality, okay, and then locking you in, so you stay in your body. Uh, and although movement exercises are good, you'll probably do it for a different purpose, uh, just to feel your body rather than try to keep it here. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Because uh, you're always struggling to stay here or basically stay sane. Either way, uh, and again, not a mental issue. You just, you know, when you lose sense of your body, uh, your body does and tends to go unstable. Your mental mind. A lot of me uh, there's a lot of mechanics in the world, and it's almost, and it sounds kind of crazy how. You know, you can, I can relate the two, but um, it's like the phantom limb, limb syndrome. You're familiar with the phantom limb, or no? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, your body still sends signals out. Uh, I had my the tips of my fingers cut, uh, and I could literally, I had like a quarter inch, half inch, of the tips of my fingers cut, uh, and I could rub over a surface quarter inch off that surface and I could feel the surface of the object. 
So you really don't need your physical body to sense things, although we think we do. Uh, those people who like lose a leg, um, if that's a, um, that leg continues to exist, although it's not there, uh, it drives that person crazy. I just had the tips of my fingers, and it drove me crazy since it wasn't there, but I kept feeling it until it, you know, uh, I got used to it. So does that make sense to you? Because it's a positioning system. Your body's sending out signals, but there's nothing there. So, so the same thing with you. Uh, and I stress that because you're not depressed or mentally unstable or anything like that. You just don't know where your body exists. So, no. very different, by the way. So, uh, and I stress that because sometimes we think of taking medications or whatever that stabilizes us, to stabilize us. It'll distort you even more because you get disconnected from time references and then you get, well, uh, the last bit of you even gets distorted. So. Yeah, and then the main thing that I feel like anchors me is being is being in nature or being or doing some kind of movement practice like dancing or doing yoga cuz yep. so like medication and drugs I'm not interested it's like it's perfect to, for me it's um, looking to get more mm-hmm. connected to get present right uh yeah there's some people in your family that might have taken that and they might have just lost it and, or disappeared or basically died so that's why I said yeah. it uh, uh, that's the reason why, because they totally yeah, get it. disconnected. So that that made sense to you, right? So. Oh yeah, history of addiction uh, right, in yeah. my family. Yeah, that's why they get addicted because they want to find their body. So anyway. So what I was doing for you, honey, is uh, it took me a little longer because uh, I was working on some other people as well around you. Um, they needed help too. Not exactly sure who they were, but probably feels like family members or you even connect with friends that feel the same way. So whoever they were, um, um, it's it's a sad loss of life, and you know if they just you know disconnect uh, for unnecessary reasons. So anyway, locking you in. Uh, and you'll feel more stable, uh, and that way you'll just be happy being rather than trying to find yourself. So when you do movement exercises, be in nature, you actually say grow and expand rather rather than trying to recover yourself. Uh, and it's a very different feeling, and it's pretty much almost immediate or within the next few days from what I'm saying. Okay, hon? Yeah, my body already feels different. Thank you very much. For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M-A-S-S-A-J-A-D-Y dot com.